and he's going to keep on going for a little while. Hopefully not until he falls over. You may have noticed that the layout of our off-grid property on the hillside is rather unique. So many of our systems are engineering experiments in the research and development phase. For example, Charles is planning to harvest the rainwater from our solar panels with these reclaimed gutters. He hung them with door hinges so they can be folded out of the way under the array during the winter months. The gutters did capture some water during their first few test runs, but they will work even better after being caulked at the seams and improved with the addition of a plastic membrane. If you've been following our recent progress on the home build, you may have guessed what this sand is for. It's a pile of work. We're down here at the cisterns, two of which have the risers. The third one is waiting for some complicated plumbing for the pump. On top of the last cistern is a package of insulation and Charles is starting his insulation box which is going to need to be filled on the inside and the outside with the new pile of sand that got dropped off yesterday. It's going to take a lot of fill to get these tanks covered. And I'm just wondering if we ought to try to fill in around the tanks with the sifted sand. And then maybe get something a little cheaper to go around the outside where it won't come in contact with the tanks themselves.
noticed that it's very hard to see any progress when we look at the cisterns as they are being buried, so it helps to look at the size of the sand pile instead, but even that seems to change very slowly. It's 11 a.m. and this is the part where I start to melt in the sun, so I'm switching from my sandy boots into my flip-flops, but Charles requested a water bottle refill and some chapstick and he's going to keep on going for a little while. Hopefully not until he falls over. sure if you can see that on camera the pile is actually steaming in the Sun much like we are yes. Oh no, they can see your haircut now. No. What exciting things have you brought home today? Bags of concrete, rebar, some conduit, and some guttering. Very exciting. So for those of you who are still wondering why we are moving all of this by hand and foot, it's because there's not even really room for the wheelbarrow to move, much less a tractor. I don't know if you can see how steeply our mound drops off over here. One of the next steps is that Charles has been ramping up this side to be able to take a wheelbarrow up here. Eventually that will be the case as it gets filled in. So we can continue to pile this up over here. This is what we got done yesterday and today in between the tanks until we ran out of sand. So we'll be calling for another pile and in the meantime pouring footings for the yurt piers. Charles kept going for a little while so I just wanted to show you what this looks like now. And that's about as full as it can get before we can do our next step anyway. Mm -hmm. 